Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself Bates and 87. Today we are doing the best possible Russian League team available to you on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. It's had a fresh new team of the season. It's had loads of special cards thrown into it and uh, a 95 rated card which you guys will probably know who it is already. But if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we're trying to hit up 5,000 likes, I'll be absolutely brilliant. And guys, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So I said guys, Best Possible Russian League Team and it doesn't feature... A a lot of players like of Hero Akin Fee from this week's team of the week, Fernandez, um I kind of don't really care about. Promes doesn't make it into there. Samadov, um, Mamayev, and Shmolov. Some very awkward names for me to say. I won't lie to you, but that's the way things do, do go down. Now, even though there is a lot of high-rated right mids, and potentially we could have done a 3-4-3, three, three, there is no other decent left wing or left midfield card to actually do that formation. So it would have knocked. The average rating down, so unfortunately we had to give that one a miss. So in the goalkeeper position, guys, and I will knock over to Russian League as a lot of players don't pop up instantly. Uh, we do go with the uh, man, of, um, no, not man of the match, the uh, team of the season, Ryzhukov. I'm just sat here thinking about how bad my pronunciation is going to be of this. 82 diving, 84 reflexes, not a very good keeper. And we actually, do we pack him? Yeah, we actually packed this one, which is pretty, pretty insane as well. A lot of these we actually packed the other day, but a lot of them we did have to go out and buy. And uh, the prices seem to have gone up a lot of the players. In the centre-back position on the left-hand side, guys, and they're going to have to set it off because they're backed out there. We're going to go over new Russian League centre-back, and it is Granquist. It's 52 pace, absolute speed demon this guy is. And joined by another speed demon himself, the 57, um, 57 paced uh, Berejuski. Um, this guy always gets a team of season. I can never, never say it correctly. So 285 rated centre backs jump in at the back. Very different, actually. There's a very different run of team of season players from the Russian League compared to last year. In the left back position, guys, we do go with a nice player, Denisov. 88 pace, 81 defending, 82 physical. Very, very good, actually, uh, for a left back. I played against Messi a few times. He was catching him every single time. In the right back position, guys, we do go with Shmolnikov. This guy is my bear. I love him at right back and potentially I may end up throwing him into my major team because he was really, really good in the games. Did play with him. 91 pace, 82 defending, 84 passing and uh, did a brilliant job at tracking back. Even though he did, does attack a little bit, he's got the pace to jump on back and do the business. In the CM position, guys, on the left-hand side, we do go with uh, Wernbloom, the uh, Swedish guy. His price presumably is going to go up with the inclusion of Team Season Eber. I'm saying Team Season Eber, but I'm recording this before the Team Season is actually out. And uh, Jaguev as well. 80 pace, 83 shooting, even though it feels a lot better than that. 87 passing, 78 physical and 60 defending, as well as four-star skills. He is very, very, very good. Uh, one player, actually there's two, maybe four players in his team, which I really love. Two of them are in the team already, which is uh, Shmolnikov and also uh, Jaguev. In the camp position, we have the first non-player who isn't a team of season, and it is uh, Inform Eremenko, maybe second Inform Eremenko. Uh, it's 79 pace, 83 shooting, 87 passing, 84 dribbling as well. Very tidy player. And then in the right wing position, guys, we've got the highest rated player involved in this team. And it is the 95 rated uh, Hulk. If you guys haven't seen the standalone video with Hulk in, go and check it out. 92 pace, 96 shooting, 94 passing, 93 dribbling, and 94 physical. 98 strength is definitely a standout stat on that card. In the left wing position, guys, we do go with Shatov. 92 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting, 86 passing. And these two are the only players I enjoyed from the attack. Even though he only got one goal and two assists, he had a very, well... In my opinion, a very influential uh, uh, appearance on the team. And as you look at his price, it's actually gone up. Since I bought it just after lightning rounds and it has actually gone up, which is pretty insane. In the striker position, and uh, sorry, I'm going to show you Hulk's price as well. Because I presume he's gone up a little bit. Has he? Quite a rare card actually, yeah, but only a little bit more. And then the striker position to finish off, the best possible Russian League team. We are going to go with um, this guy. Is the worst striker I've ever used. I Zuba. A lot of people did say that I was using him wrong. Um, I don't believe that I was. I was trying to cross him. I was trying to do everything. He just couldn't do anything. He turns like a tank. His agility is absolutely crap. And so is his dribbling. And uh, his shooting's very good. That's one thing which I must point out. His shooting's very good. His strength's all right. But it's just that agility which makes him one of the worst strikers I have ever used. I paid 38k for him. And I hope he isn't stick to... I can't believe he's gone up in price. That is ridiculous. But um, honestly, I wouldn't waste your money with this guy. I would probably go and choose another team of season. Uh, probably so many little better ones. This other striker looks very good. Shmolov. But I 
say he looks very good, but he is 90 pace. So you can't really go wrong with 90 pace players. So, guys, that is a rundown of the um, best possible slash highest rated uh, Russian League team available to you on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Um, some nice cards for you guys to get your hands on. Some cheap ones as well. Shatov is very expensive, but I presume this guy should be pretty cheap. I packed him. No, I paid 25k for him, and he's 19k now. I would recommend picking him up, guys, if you do have a Russian League team or even a Russian team which you do like to vote with. So, guys, leave a like, rate on the video, subscribe if you are not, and we'll back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy. But let's get into highlights and show you how we did do. So, with Hulk, guys, we have already played with him anyway. We played a lot of games with Hulk, actually. In the past two days alone, I paid 10 games, scored 12 goals, and one assist for Hulk. Very, very tidy player. A few of them from the penalty spot, but a very, um, very good all round player. I might even, I'm even tempted to play him off chem as a striker, you know. And that's very rare for me. Bateson doesn't like playing off chem players. We also have Shatov. Now, even though we played five games this player, one goal, two assists. He's very influential, like I did say, guys. Got a brilliant, um, like, speed dribble. 89 dribbling, 92 pace. That is ridiculous. As well as the four star skills and four star weak foot as well. Cutting on his right foot as he is right footed as well um, is very clinical. We have Wormbloom. As a defensive player, he did very, very well. Cutting out the uh, attacks and the play in the midfield from my opponents. Did concede a few goals yet again, but that's just down to my bad FIFA player. Jagowev has got four star skills, a brilliant long shot as well, and you will see that took advantage. I think this is the only goal, or maybe one of the two goals that we did score with Jagowev, and it was a tap in. I just struggled to get goals with him. Eremenko, very um, imp important into the team as well. Five five games, two goals, and four assists shows how um, how, how much he does do from the centre midfield uh, camp position. And uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, it's a shame he's missed out on the team this season, but it is a very, very good card. We were lucky enough to pack him. The defence itself, even with the lack of pace in the centre back positions, I have no complaints. Decent height as well, six foot two and six foot four on both centre backs. Shmonikov is really, really small as well, in five foot ten. And then with Denisov as well, he's five foot ten, high, high work rates. And I think that's the same with oh no, um, Shmonikov's actually got a medium, medium, which is pretty good for a right back. So if you guys do rock legends and stuff, and you can get him into a team, or even if you are looking for that link to Hulk, um, honestly, Shmonikov and Hulk. And I think I might even do a squad builder with these two in the future because uh, I do really like Hulk and Shmonikov together. Goalkeeper. Basically non-existent because he had a lot of goals, uh, but can't really complain about keepers. I can't really rate keepers. There's a few of them I can rate uh, as being horrendous, but um, obviously people know how to score goals this so, uh, this far on in FIFA, so you can't really complain at the goalkeepers themselves. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, a like rating will be very, very much appreciated. Remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And guys, we'll be back another day, another deal for you guys to enjoy. And let me know if you want to see any more clubs, nations, or leagues done on FIFA 16.